Chapter 5, Basic Set Operations. All right, this is all around taking a set of data, right, that has a number of objects and working with that data. That'll be filtering, ordering, grouping, projecting, right? Projecting is just kind of specifying, I only want these columns, right, out of the data. So filtering is about, I only want this data that matches this parameter or condition, okay? So filtering, again, we want to say where an object matches a certain condition or, or um, you know, an operation. So let's look at here. We have a names, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight names, right? So let's look at that, right? And then now we're going to take the names variable. So that names variable was created with this array of eight objects, right? We can count it, eight objects, okay? So in those eight objects, we want to filter that list. There will be times where you want to filter a list, so this is how you're going to do it. You're going to say where object, um, open bracket, and close bracket. So it will basically remember, when we do objects, we want to say where anything out of this, where each item, which is going to be right here, each one of these items, which is that automatic variable, is like a wildcard, meaning anything that starts with the letter A after that, right? So it has to start with the letter A, okay? Because a wildcard is at the back, okay? All right, so we have Aaron Albert Alphonse, right? You can do it with someone else. Um, maybe anybody that has a letter A inside its name. See? Or a letter E inside the name. Because I'm saying a wild card of anything before or anything after, and the E is in the middle. Okay? Let's see. And names where like a dollar sign. So this is the same thing as before, except shorter. Where object, you don't have to type the whole thing. You could type where, or you could just do a question mark. So if you ever see a question mark, or if you ever see where, or where object, it's all the same thing. And then you're trying to filter where that automatic variable is like A. Okay? Sometimes if it's a PowerShell object, you're going to have where name or stuff, right? But in this case, this is not a key value pair, so there is no name or anything. That's just a list of values. Ordering. We want to sort an object. We want to sort that list, okay? So, again, we have this list. It's about it's five uh, op and we want to then sort it. A shorter way to do it is with sort. Okay, If you want to go by descending order, you have to specify descending. By default, it's ascending. Okay, If you want to sort by uh, using an expression, that means that you can sort by other parameters. So this one is by the length, dot length. Dot length is the length of characters. So Aaron is five characters. Bernie is six characters. Danny's five characters. So if we sort it by length, Danny shows up right here because it's in ascending order. If you do descending, it'll go reverse. Okay. All right. Let me delete this. All right, so grouping. So there will be times you want to group objects. Now, this scenario of grouping by characters doesn't happen much, but nonetheless, it's just a demo. So we want to group objects by the length of characters. And so you have Aaron, Danny, Ernie, Frank, Albert, Bernie, Charlie, Alphonse, and we're grouping them based off the count of people in that group matching that property length. So if there's only five characters, 
there's a total of four people in that group. If there's six characters, we have two people in that group. See? So grouping objects is just really, um, by property length, is grouping them based off that parameter. Okay? And then it counts it. Shorter alias is just group. So, oh, let me fix this real quick. Uh, all right. So selecting objects. So selecting object is kind of like filtering, except you're filtering the columns, right? Here's an example: is if we do dir and uh, we do this, there's a lot of objects. There's a there's a lot of stuff, right? So right, there's a lot of stuff. So we're gonna get the directory. And now we're going to say select objects. I want the name column, the full name column, and attributes. That's it. If you delete it, you get this, right? So select objects is really selecting what you want um, from that pipe that comes from the results. So again, the results is this. It sends it to the pipe. And then you're just selecting what you want from that. Okay. So you can even do first, I'm, I'm sure we saw this before, but first, uh, the last, right? So you're just really selecting what you want out of that. And this, and again, it's going to be name, full name and attributes. And here are the uh, sh here's a shorter alias to do it. So it's just select. Instead of just select object, you can just do select. And like I showed you in the previous example, uh, selecting the first. So this is, um, if you want to show all its properties, you can say, I want to select first, one. And then if you put this star, you're going to get everything about that property, anything that's a property within that object, you're going to get it, right? If you don't include this, it's not going to be much, I don't think. See? But if you do star, you get everything, okay? Really good thing to have because you might not see everything, and if you're putting that star, it's going to, it's going to allow you to see more uh, properties. And that's it.